All right, here's a mid-July garden walkthrough. This is going to be a little longer, five to ten minutes or so. So the front tomatoes are doing all right. Uh, they're not in the greatest spot, but they're making a lot of tomatoes and getting ready to get ripe soon. Those are cherry tomatoes. This uh, amaranth down the side is doing great and all these other things here. Let's see, there's peppers. Uh, that's a tomato, but there's peppers that are doing great. All the stuff along the fence right here kind of got eaten up by the goats. Um, but it was actually good in one case with these tomatoes over here because the tomatoes got ripe because they were getting topped. Um, and then here's another pepper right here with some some tomatillos that are ripening up and looking good. That one is, uh, I picked a whole bunch today so that one probably fall in a couple more days. Uh, a lot more stuff got <laughs> eaten up by the goats, but that's okay. A uh, couple of big tomato plants. Um, and then some more tomato plants in the pots. And those are doing great. The, uh, the tomatillo bin is making lots of tomatillos. These tomatillos are good. I, um, I put some on the barbecue the other day. And they are so good. You really have to cook them for them to be good. I mean, I guess you could get used to the raw taste, but it's, they're a lot better cooked. Uh, this is the, the corn, beans, and squash, the main one, and it did great. It was a, a grain corn, though. I kind of messed up in that because I'm not really... I would have much rather had sweet corn. But I think they, it, the corn got... It, half of it got attacked by aphids anyways, but it's okay because it doesn't even taste good. Like, you have to make a grain out of it, and I don't really want to do that. Um, and then the beans here, the rattlesnake beans, they did great. Let's see where are some. I picked a whole bunch today. Um, yeah, here they are. Yeah, they're good. And then these squash are uh, just starting to turn big for the first time. Um, and they're almost edible size. I mean, they're edible. But now I'm just going to let them get a little bit bigger. But, hey, chickens in the garden. Uh-uh, chickens. <laughs> uh, this, none of these veggies bolted or anything and this is a, a gourd plant let's see oh it's it's doing good but the shadow is I, I'm going camping tomorrow I wanted to just get one video of mid-July before I got back and I was a little busy today um, the squash is doing good the back alley is doing great it kind of thinned itself out a little bit and the strongest things survived and everything else died, which is good. Um, and then going down Tomato Row. Uh, these, all these sunflowers here in this plot are kind of dying. None of the sunflowers are really doing great. Yeah, Tomato Row is pretty cool. It's really thick right here, though. Um, that's four different types of tomato plants. And, I mean, they're getting up as six and a half, seven feet tall. Um, yeah, they're big. They're going to be making a lot of tomatoes. And here's some more ripe tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes and tomatillos behind it. And the artichoke that's not doing much anymore. I don't know if I'm giving enough water, but I don't think this is... It. Well, it's flowering, so... And then the eggplant down there, they're doing great. Um, apparently this is pretty early for the eggplant, or like those are good sized eggplants for this time of year. Uh, this is just nothing but tomatoes and tomatillos and a ripe tomato, I do believe. Yeah, there we go. We'll put that with dinner. Um, and these beans right here, they did great. Growing up along the fence. And the potatoes down the little alley are, uh, they're still growing. They're doing good. I think they're about to flower and then... Uh, after they flower, you let them sit for a little bit longer, and then you harvest them. Uh, some more new onions, because these onions are all getting picked away. Uh, this corn is still doing good. This is a popcorn, so you leave it on the stalk until it completely dies uh, and dries out. And then it turns into a popcorn. Uh, this is just a little field of amaranth. Those are good as baby greens. Just pick some. And, uh, yeah, I just threw the seeds out, you know, uh, seeds from the grocery store, so they're cheap. I think it's $2 a pound. 
a little bit more right there, so we're going to stagger it. You know, I'm going to plant some more right when I get back from camping. Uh, more carrots and radishes. And these two up here, these were the sweet corns. And we've had some, and they're very good. Uh, they're just starting to get ripe and big enough. Um, and this amaranth here is doing great too. Some stuff has fallen over here. Sunflower fell over. Sunflowers are kind of dying. Uh, a couple amaranths fell over, but they're okay. They'll survive. Um, and they'll still be amaranth when we cook them. Um, these peppers, they're doing great. They're just a little small, but they were from my neighbors. and uh, I mean, they gave them to me small. I knew that they were small when they gave them to me. Here's some more. They're mixed in with the amaranth. This one's actually a decent size and should make a couple bell peppers. A um, little plot of carrots, which is doing great. And then, yeah, the back side of the popcorn and the back side of the alley, which you can do some watering from here. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, that's the mid-July tour. Six minutes, not bad.